Wern screaming for the ball. He was in acres there, but the pass wasn't on. Kent Richardson has space to walk into. Yards gives it to Wern. Hannant, left hand side to Nanga in the middle. Kent Richardson playing like a midfielder. Here goes for his shot from distance. Deflection hasn't been cleared yet, though. As now Kent Richardson gets it back, goes for a second bite of the apple, deflected! Oh, bounces over the goalkeeper, and Kent Richardson, well, he's showing the strikers how it's done. 1 0 to Gateshead. Yeah, I think Emsfleet will be uh, not overly happy with how that goal's come about. Just uh, caught by, by heavy pressure from Gateshead. Really should have just cleared it. I know teams like to play out from the back, but they've just messed on with the ball on the edge of the box. It's been nicked. In trouble here. O'Neill under pressure from Wern plays it inside. Come the on. captain, Solly, can clear this one. Only as far as Tinkler's head, Denanga's going to pick it up, nods it to Booty. Booty with a oh, nearly good touch to turn. But now, Ebsby on the attack. It's Dommy on the ball, plays it out to the far side. Now, what can Kundal do with it? He's going to put a cross in, pulls it back across. Oh, and it's still, oh, it's in the back of the net. It comes back off the post, and the finish was put in. And I think it might have been um, Polyon that got the goal there. But Gate said, well, they got caught out by a fast move. Yeah, people are tracking back, I think, far side too easy, uh, getting in left hand side. Um, I don't know if Mayor saved it, it's hit the post, I think it's probably hit the post. Yeah. But just quick reactions. Look, I'll be honest, this is, absolutely deserved to be back on level terms. They've been the better side since Gate said went in front. Kundal in the acres of space here, receives the ball on the halfway line. Under pressure from Hunter, though. Has been a good battle between the two number 15s, forcing him back. That's good pressure from Gateshead. Passed all the way back to Cousins. Now Kundal under pressure again from Hunter. This is good stuff from Gateshead. Can they make a pay? Yeah. They can! <laughs> they forced the error! And there was Wern to just take it off Cousins' foot into an empty net. And Gateshead have took the lead here 2-1. Yeah, you know, we speak about it all the time. Normally from Gateshead's point of view, there is always a slight risk playing out from the back. But what you should say, that's wonderful pressure from Gateshead. Brilliant, forcing them high, being nice and brave, forcing the error. Yes, it is an error, but it's been punished. It all stemmed from Hunter on Kundal, pushing him back. Then Kundal got the ball back, pushed him back again. Hunter... Cuts inside of it, he needs some help. Lovely oh. footwear from Hunter, gets past his man. Can he get the cross in? He can. Oh, oh it's a great block, you know. Solly, the captain, if they didn't get that ankle to it, it was going to fall to Denanger on the penalty Here's spot. Again. Here's a press again. Well, ball forward. Nice win in the air by Booty. It's going to fall to Gated though now. Lovely flick. Wern, he's through one goal. Can he finish it? Oh, he's got to the front penalty. He's given it. Cousins brought him down. He knew he had to take it out wide. And Cousins' outstretched arm just catches the feet of Wern. And down he goes. And it is a penalty. And it looks like Wern is going to be the man to take it here. Wern stands over the ball. And we are about to see if he can convert this penalty to make it 3-1. Whistle's blown. Wern steps forward. Puts it oh. into the back of the net. A cheeky little dip right down the centre and Gateshead make it 3-1 here at home to Ebsfleet. You know, Stephen Wern he just makes Gateshead tick, doesn't he? A lot of people spoke about who would make Gateshead tick in that way after Adam Campbell left. And I think you're seeing here that it is very much uh, Steve Wern is that man. Four minutes added on, I think. Oh, good ball. Oh, ball in the middle. Lovely brought down by Polly Owen. Can he get a shot away? Lays it off, oh, unselfish. What a block. Ed Francis. As now they try and build down the right hand side of the box. Pulls it in. Gated have to clear this. They have. Now There's go. Denanga dropped deep to let it go to Wern. Wern back to Denanga and Gated on the attack. If Denanga looks up, you'll see Wern in acres of space. He dinks it over. Can Wern finish the hat trick now? Yes, he can! Gated make it 4 1. And seven minutes of added on time here as well. But let's not distract from the finish. The pass from Denanga. He come back to win the ball. And he turned and laid it off beautifully. A pass, four red shirts. And Wern, calm, composed. And just placed it into the back of the net. 
Now, at one point during that ball going in, did I ever suggest or think that Stephen Wern wasn't going to score there? It's a brilliant ball from Denanga. Full credit to Marcus Denanga. It's a brilliant first touch, and you just knew, you just knew that he was going to stroke it home and finish. Oh, we, 